Good morning to all those who are listening to Revival Times Assembly Morning Devotions. I am Reverend Jacqueline Hart and I will be leading devotions for this week. Before I start, I want to thank my pastors, Reverends Lloyd and Norma Hart, for giving me this opportunity to share with you this week. I trust that you will be blessed as we examine Psalms chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. Before I read the verses of scripture, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for who you are, a faithful God. Thank you for the breath of life. You woke us up this morning to see this day of possibilities and opportunities of life. Be with us throughout this session. Let the message go forth and let the listeners be touched by your mighty word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 1 states, Blessed be the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalm chapter 1 starts with a declaration. Blessed is the man. The Hebrew word for blessed here is esha, and means happiness or blessedness or blessings, because this noun comes in the plural. It can be said, all the happiness or blessedness or blessings of man that does not walk, sit or stand among the ungodly sinners or the scornful, all represented different degrees of wickedness at each level. Today I would be looking at the counsel of the ungodly. The natural man seeks counsel or help as needed. If he has problems with his teeth, he goes to the dentist. If he has money problems, he goes to a financial practitioner. If he has legal problems, he goes to a lawyer. If he has mental issues, he seeks out help from a psychologist or a psychiatrist. So why when we have spiritual problems as children of God, we seek out ungodly wisdom? We seek help from various sources or individuals that do not have a relationship with God. Instead, we follow the plans and principles of ungodly men. But that is not how God wants us to live. He does not want us to follow and, and live or execute the plans or to fashion our lives according to the views and purposes of the ungodly. God has good plans for our lives and he wants us to walk according to the godly t- dictates found in his word. In Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths or your ways or your walk. Walk with God and you will never walk alone. Walk with God and oh blessedness or happiness or blessings of man shall be your portion. Walk with God and you will have righteous or right counsel. Walk with God today and you will experience abundant life. As Paul said in Ephesians 5, 15 to 16, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Walking circumspectly means we are on the alert and watching around. We do not fall for the enemy's tricks or his devices. We are careful in our walk and how we behave. We rely on the Holy Spirit's guidance. Paul is encouraging us today that they're that they're in the midst of all the evil or darkness in this great and present world. 
we need to walk carefully and uprightly. So today, if we wanted to be called blessed of the Lord, let us not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time in your presence. We thank you that the message that was shared, may it go forth and minister to the hearers, O oh God, that the words would minister to them throughout this day. Father God, be with us in a special way. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. And please join us tomorrow as we continue looking at Psalms chapter 1 verses 1 to 3 where we would be looking at Blessed is the man that standeth not in the way of the sinners.